Welcome back to the John's Daily Calls. If you guys are brand new, this is where I basically break down and tell you guys what's happening in the market, where you should be, what you should do, and where to go. And uh, the new update is on the Caramo. Um, unfortunately, guys, uh, Bono, uh, Matthias absolutely got annihilated. And I don't think that this car would be at 23K if he hadn't lost like 7-1, 5-0, just got absolutely steamrolled. But he got steamrolled. Um, and, you know, it may, may just not have slept well or some, something weird was happening with him, bro. But this card has lost significant value. There was a sell point. If you guys were in the live stream, we did call the sell point right around this price. We did call this sell point, but pre-game, it was like 78K. And then he lost the first, or it was 83K at one point. And we uh, we said, you can sell now before the match. And then he lost the first match. There was a 77, there was a pull down to 77. We called the sells there. Anything added was risk. If you guys were watching this game, if you guys were in the live stream, you guys know. Oh man, that is, uh, that's a downer, man. That's a big downer. Uh, that's going to go down in the history of, of foot traders as one of the uh, most, one of the worst flip value cards ever. Now, there's a chance that that could go, not, not maybe not up to 80K again, not up to 80K, because I don't think he's going to qualify. But that card could go right back up to like 50 60k potentially because he still has if because he is supposed to be the best player in that group the best the supposed best player in that group lost all four matches got steamrolled through every single one something's up here wrong but he can technically in five weeks four weeks whatever it is he can come back <laughs> he, he could come back and win he could and win four in a row He's he's the he's the player that could do that in that group. Now will he qualify? Who knows? But could he get the ten points to get uh, the two the the play style, the alternate position, and the two upgrades? Yes. So that card could go up. Anyways, moving forward, what to do now? What should you be thinking about given this opportunity? Two things. Number one, hold, hold, and hold, and try to get back up to like forty k. Okay, for, for five weeks from now, you can do that. If, if it's PTSD, you're like, oh, I just don't want to take that hit. By all means, do it. However, what I, from my experience, if you ever take a hit on something like this, EA sometimes, somehow pack you. They pack you with something, man. They'll pack you with something. So me, what I recommend doing is selling out of this and getting into something that's going to move. If you want to get back into it, by all means, find an opportunity this is technically a buy opportunity but it's way too late it, it's it's gonna stay flat for a long time so what i recommend is probably getting out of it by now uh you would think like here's the thing he lost so bad that when all those other cards rebounded this one hasn't because of how bad he lost had he not lost bad that card would be floating around 40 plus right now it would not be at 20 Anyways, what do we go? What do we do now? Where do we go next? Well, it is Tuesday. There are the new predictions. You guys could do team of the week predictions here. Um, you guys could look through on these on footbend.com. Uh, th this is the, po the supposed. You've got uh, Fernandez, Rabio. I believe is Trent in there. They don't have Trent in there, uh, but you have Trippier uh, and Sommer. But uh, if and uh, I also saw a leak Evo, like an Evo leak. So there is a there is an evolution leak as well that you guys could uh, potentially pop in on. So you could definitely trade on all those. All those are added risk. Uh, that's going to be the risky situation, but that's going to be the fastest rate of return. Some of the fodder stuff, uh, you know, it's it's kind of it's it's gone up a little bit. It's staying a little bit stagnant, but it is going up a little bit, right? So we're at thirty seven thousand. 38 maybe it's tuesday right we don't have too much leaving right now so we don't have too much leaving right now it's when uh we talked about if you guys were holding that fodder from uh, a couple days ago we don't really have much leaving right nothing in the big fodder so you're able to hold that stuff this may be 30 if, if we get a decent spc right now they're at 38k 
they could be 39 again. Uh, so if you guys have been holding your your uh, your your high rated info or your high rated fodder, there there is a chance that tomorrow in the next 24 hours they're gonna go right back up to that 39k, which we haven't seen since uh, Wednesday, October 25th, near that price. So we are seeing that rise, which we called that on Sunday. Um, and so we are seeing that that pull up just because a lot of the a lot of the uh, a lot of the lightning rounds have gone. So we're seeing that pull up, which is really nice, which is really nice. The Kim Little card, I believe, has been pushing as well. So if we go over to Kim Little here. Come on, Kim. She's at 43.5. If you guys remember the call down at around 30 or actually here and here. But this this one is going to be whatever the 50 rated uh fodder price will be now which is 55 so is this card still investable yes it is this is should be a safe investment does it matter if she wins her games yes does she have an absurdly amount of games to does, i think she has two or three matches to win one to get this up so this is is a fodder jump and you guys could make coin on this this is still investable i still like that one so you by all means if you guys just want to like recoup and just do something relatively safe i by all means go right there but next we're going to talk about fc pro live and thunderstruck here so thunderstruck's gonna be up first so whoever plays this weekend is gonna start having momentum after yesterday with fc pro on top of that, FC Pro is going to go into FC Pro. But uh, the lowest B Silva was after that loss, oh, not after that draw, oh my gosh, dude, was like 66. He was like 66K. Now he's slowly risen right back up to 73. So we're at that 73, 73K value right now. So uh, I believe he plays, um, when do these guys play? I, I, know it's, I know it's like within two days. I know it's within two days. If he plays today, then... Uh, but let me go... Let me try to find him real quick. Boom. Uh, so he plays the 6th, which today is the 5th, I believe, right? Yes. So he plays tomorrow and then the 10th. So the 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 potential upgrade is going to be really quick. So if you want the fastest rate of return with some little little risk there, by all means, right, right here. This is it. B Silva right here. One plus, right? And potential for that second. Now... It was supposed. You, you see what I'm saying, guys. At this point, you might as well just buy almost anything else because everybody else is winning games. Oh my god! But Terry Corrier, almost everybody. So this uh, this should go up to 91 um, plus with some play styles, which is which is nice. I have been seeing him on the on the battlefield. So uh, it is a decent card to play and, and to use. So I have been seeing this card, which, but basically when it comes down to it, uh, check the cards. They should be playing relatively soon and they still have value. If they have that, if they still have upgrade value, value, they're there. We called Vandersar. Um, we called Vandersar. It looks like they may have won again. And now he's up to almost 700. We called this at 530, guys. We called this one at 530. That was a big, big, big money move. That's what he called playable assets. When very rarely do you have a, a playable appreciating asset like this as a, as a super meta, but that one it's but what happens? It's down to the matches. It's not that I'm a good trader, just down to the matches, right? We make a call based off of information, but it's down to those matches. That's what EA or base basically EA want you to gamble more than ever now. But anyways, moving on, let's go to FC Pro. So here we are, FC Pro. Next match is up. It's round three or round four. Now, man, Caramo at 23K, bro. All right. So, Simicon has significantly rose. This was my call. Um, this is the Anders Verjang. Um, this, 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 you know, this being up 37K after the, after, after uh, FC Pro makes sense. If you think of it, people just dump out of their other cars and they put into this. Everybody that lost on Caramo is probably in on Anders now. Um, and so you're, that's just common. This isn't like it's going to the moon just right now. Uh, there may be a, an opportunity for, there may be a buy opportunity. It looks like at 35K is going to be that next buy opportunity. So 
it might fluctuate to 35 but seeing this back down to like 31 or 20, 25 again before match is not going to happen so uh just know that that's going to have hype all the way up um if you guys still want to get on a late investment i would be going in on phillips okay this is group four and also guys we're starting to get we're starting to get in conversation for group one again which Emery Yilmaz and this uh, Malin card are going to start being popped up. So he's almost up to 30k now, which is almost near the highest he was during match day. And this could potentially be decent because of because that he's going to go into the qualifier round, which gets you that extra. He gets what one bonus? He gets a bonus. He gets a bonus player. Uh, bonus inform, and then he goes all the way up into, uh, I believe it's like a playstyle plus or whatever the requirements is, but you're going to start seeing that stuff maybe pull in there. And as an 87, if he gets an 88, now you're looking at fodder price ranges, right? So you have safety at fodder. So if he gets, eh, I don't know if he's going to get to 89, but if he gets to 89, I mean, you're safe at like 38, right? But uh, anyways. Moving forward, just consider that as the option. Uh, will a lot of this stuff is up? I would probably, if you guys have your Williams and all this, and you're not you and like you're just like trading on this one, I'd probably sell out of this and go in on the front stuff uh, to just keep going. But Texas Phillips, if you guys want the best rate of return uh, or return on investment, it's going to be Phillips. Uh, this is going to be the best one. I picked up a couple just yesterday for like 120. Um, so I or 130. 28 or 130 or something like that it's just right flat right here yeah i picked them up right around here so anyways this is going to be one of your better bets it looks like he took a nice pump to about 145 right after the match day overnight so uh the idea guys is uh recoup and just push you got it it honestly you have to be mentally strong right now because i understand that a lot of y'all may just want to just like never play the game again if especially if you heavy leverage but that's why you do three things guys number one you sell in the hype right you sell in the hype number two you don't put every single coin you have into one card number two number three number three you move forward and you, and you get through the mental stage so the idea is that you stay mentally strong if you take a cut if you take a loss so just be mentally strong don't forget just move on to the next one don't don't lose hope don't lose sadness don't be sad keep grinding keep rocking and uh remember ea want you to come back and i have a theory that when you lose coins like that a significant amount and you haven't played in a while like if you haven't played in one and you come back and you're like oh my coins value is down 30 percent ea recognize that they recognize how much you lost that's why there's probably a profit calculator that profit that you miss most likely will translate into the the fc pack so hopefully they do um i can't guarantee it but hopefully it do it's something to to hope for uh so there's uh added value i guess maybe you pack a croif and you go right back up until next time guys my name is john we'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for tuning in and remember uh we'll be back tomorrow as well uh i may or may not live stream today tuesdays are weird for me guys tuesdays are weird but uh um, I, I'm live streaming at nights too if you want to see the gameplay. But uh, join the Discord. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.